Here we are docking in Alessand, A-L-E-S-U-N-D, and we're off for a tour to see the trolls. It's a big town. Okay, now it's Sunday morning. We had Saturday on the ship all day, nothing to do, um, nothing to see. Anyway, we're going to be coming into Allison, A-L-E-S-U-N-D, and we're due there about two hours, I guess, hour and a half. And we're doing a Fjords to Trolls tour with a company called Norway Excursions. So, off to breakfast. Pilot boat is just left. We left off the pilot while we're we'll heading into the fjords. So. We are about ready to dock into Allison. One of the bigger towns. somewhere to sleep and he was like a bit protected from the wind so there were more stones like that this is like the only one remaining but there was there were more of them so people would just like lie there underneath and that was like a hotel okay <laughs> and then this is called uh Kokesteiner. that means a uh, stone of clock because there was a guy here called Koke Peter and he was like a local hippie you know he said I'm not gonna live in the house anymore I'm gonna stay here so he, you know, sold his house, took the money, or said he doesn't need the money. He needs to live here until the end of his days. Growing big beard and all that, you know, long hair. So the first one we can give in 18th century. <laughs> we have had uh, people here to, to preserve the paintings here, and, uh, but they do not reconstruct. Lost is lost, I say. And uh, so it is. And on this on the south wall here we find the twelve apostles. Uh, I often get the question if the church is used for services. Well we have another church down there. But uh, we have uh, services here in this church twice a year. On 17th of May. This is a salmon farm. Where do you want it? It's all right there. I'm not sure about the rain. I'm here because we're going to walk across a um, chain link bridge. I'll get the name of it later. Basically, it's a rest stop. So this is the gorge where the guy was believed to jump with the lady on his arm to save her, you know. Oh, okay. But uh, actually it is possible to jump, not so much here, but when you look on the other side, it's not so far away. You can easily jump there. Like, you can easily jump there. It's not so far. Like, you know, <laughs> maybe with a girl in your arm, you can. <laughs> but it is possible to jump. meters and from here we are going a little down and then you will have a parking and I think you know it but in case you don't know it why do we have these panoramic platforms there 
because from there you can see the troll road. We are on the top of the troll road. The troll road is just in front of us, so you know what? Actually, do not eat too much because we have 11 very sharp hairpin bands, okay, in front of us. But that will be after the break. But you can see all the troll road from the panoramic platforms. from the urinals in the men's room but the scenery is just so cool so this is the walk to the two platforms there's so many buses here but this is one of the main stops Let's see where it takes now we're going to walk to the second one you can see the people walking along there and it's going to take us down to there. Now I'm going to go further. Down there is the end result. Some people decided they wanted to go up. There they are. Here's the road down. We'll be taking, I think it's 18 switchbacks. Still heading to the platform. Okay, we're at the top of this huge mountain and uh, it's just gorgeous out here and you'll see some stills too but like, this is just great band, are you ready look down it's beautiful so yeah we had a danish guy driving up this road last year and he got so scared because of all the traffic and the, he had like a panic attack that he left the car in the middle of the road and continued walking. That of course caused like a giant uh, problems here, of course, like a traffic jam. But the police came, he, they saw how he was shaking, they didn't tell him to pay any fines. Like, okay, you already got your fine, you know. It was already your punishment. Yeah, but apart from that, all good. Our Sorry? <laughs> They're in the back of the bus. Parachutes. Parachute. At the parachute? Yeah. No, we were, we, were, we were jumped from the wall. <laughs> That's very popular for base jumping. Angling. Just oh boy. Oh boy. 20 minutes. Um, it is uh, too much snow to be continuing with the work, right? And of course, guys, the um, road is closed in the winter. Of course. It yeah. only opens like mid-May till mid-October and that's it. I tried. <laughs> it's like so one of the engineers who was constructing this road. It's for the first so time well. in our lives. We will be passing the waterfall of Stigfossen. 320 meters. Very close. On the right hand side. They have avalanches here. Yes. Here we are at the they bottom of that uh, waterfall. And it's raining. Our first rain. And here are the mountains that are named after chess pieces. The king, the queen, and I think it's the horn. There are people that hike up this. This is Dana. Dana in Brooklyn. She works in uh, Norway for a baby manufacturing company that makes uh, baby clothes. Or, now we're heading back furniture. on a different road to Allison. We have about an hour and a half or so left of the door. Five after five, on board is 5.30, so I have about 15 minutes to see some of the buildings in town, and here is one of them.
Sunday night, 8.30, waiting for the show. This is what it looks like on the way from Allison to Flam tomorrow, home of the famous Flam train.